Welcome back to week two of the podcast. This week we have some very interesting segments. I'm here again with Olivia Lux. And I'm with my co-host, David Etzborn. Let's get into it. This week on Trivia, Matt and Mason went around asking students what their fav- favorite animal was and what noise it made. Let's go see some animal noises. So we're here with Maddox Espinoza. Maddox, what is your favorite animal? Probably, I'm going to say, probably a tiger. What noise does a tiger make? I don't think that's correct. <laughs> We're here with Mr. Ferks. And your question is, what's your favorite animal? A dog. Mr. Ferks, what noise does a dog make? They bark. You gotta make the noise. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> That's correct. Ah, gosh! So we're here with... Sorry. Today we're asking, what is your favorite animal? Horses. What noise does a horse make? I'm not doing that. What noise does a horse make? What noise does a horse make? <laughs> What no, what noise does a horse make? Can't answer that. What noise does a horse make? Can't answer that. That's not a noise. What noise does a horse make? Can't answer that. What noise does a horse make? I can't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with Carter Kirby. Kirby, what is your favorite animal? Well, I'd have to say a giraffe. And what noise would a giraffe make? Rah. I don't that's think wrong. that's correct. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> We're here with Ryan. Your question is, what's your favorite animal? Uh, a lion. And what sound does a lion make? Roar. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Really? Miss Worley. Miss Worley. Miss Worley. Miss Worley, what's your favorite animal? What's your favorite animal? Give me a moment of your time. What's your favorite animal? What's your favorite animal? Otters. What noise does an otter make? I don't think oh, that's no. it. Dragon. Dragon. No, I think that's it. Dragon. <laughs> oh, no. No, one more time. Oh, no. Okay. We had a week full of sports this week at Elida High School. Let's go to Jelena and Maddox to see all the wins and losses and some film of David. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Podcast Sports. If you took home a win on Friday night, you probably don't play for OG because Elida continued our undefeated record. We're now 4-0 in the regular season, 3-0 in the WBL, and uh, Elida football took down OG 30-8 last week. We take you now to a post-game interview with Bryce Dawson interviewing Parker, Parker Krim. All right, who am I here with today? Parker Krim. All right, Parker, what do you think of tonight's outcome? I think we did great. I think our line did great, too. And that's all I have. <laughs> it, was a, it was a great game, Parker. Yes, so, what led you to do as good as you did tonight? You know, you have to get out the gate. Like Coach Woods always, Coach Woods always says, you have to get out the gate. Always. What What did you do to prepare for this week's game? We had film. We had, we had practice that really helped us to achieve our goals for this game. All right. Thanks, Parker. Yes, sir. Who are you here with today? Lauren Childs. Okay, Lauren. Who has the best outfit in the student section? James. Who are you here with today? James Hempel. Okay, James. Who has the best outfit in the student section? Um, I'm gonna have to go with Drew Bailey. I like his tutu. Drew Bailey again. So who are we here with today? Uh, Drew Bailey, aka Eminem. All right, Drew. Who has the best outfit in the student section? I gotta go with James Hempel. Who are we here today? Jersey Frills. Okay, Jersey. Who has the best outfit in the student section? <laughs> Probably. Baylor, he's very like neon and stuff. All right, thanks, Jersey. 
Thank you, Bryce. Saturday and Lady Dog soccer action, we had a W over Anna, 3-0. Shout out to Kylie Wallace for good sportsmanship. She got punched in the face and got right back up and walked off the field. Good job, Kylie. In volleyball action, we have a W against Lima Senior and LCC Volleyball. Um, that gives them a record of 5-6. and six. And the Lady Dogs <laughs> took a L Monday against OG in a score we will not repeat, leaving us 5-1-2. and two. And Tennis took a W over Salina. Good job, Tennis. Going back to Saturday, JV football took home a victory against OG, being 18-6. On Tuesday, Elida JV soccer beat OG 4 nothing with a varsity win following 3 to nothing. Uh, shout out to our goalkeeper, Jalen Gladman, uh, Isaac Jones, for completing that shutout on Tuesday night. Thank you for tuning in to Podcast Sports. We'll be back again next Friday. Okay, so this week we had a class challenge winner. It was a sophomore class. And basically what a class challenge is, is your whole entire class has to participate to win a challenge. And this week it was the first class to get their final forms filled out. Seniors, we got to bounce back, get the next dog. <laughs> So we're going to head out to the sophomore class. They have an interview with a sophomore to show what they did as a class. How does it feel to have all your final forms turn in on time? Uh, pretty good. Just pretty good? Yes, yeah, it's cool. Just cool? Yeah, just cool. What advice would you give to people that do not have their final forms turned in? You're going to want to turn them in. Just that? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Did you know that if you don't turn in your uh, final forms, you can't go to homecoming or any field trips? I do now. Just now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, good job for turning in your final forms. All right, no problem. Izzy and Emily went behind the scenes at tennis this week and actually played tennis. Let's see what it takes to be a tennis player. Have you ever wondered how the tennis team practices and gets ready for their matches? Well, so have we. That's why we're here. Come on, let's go see. We're here with Abby Campbell. And what do you play? Um, I play third singles. And can you show off your racket to us? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Next up we have Emma Stoffer. And what do you play? First singles. Okay, Emma, let's get a look at that racket. This is a head speed MP. Woo! Can I have your name in your spot, please? Julia Corzan in second singles. And can you show us your racket? <laughs> Here we have our first doubles, Maya. Ellen. Okay, Maya and Ellen, can we see your rackets? Yes. Okay, now we're here with the coach. Jacob Ramirez. And how's your season been going so far? It's been pretty good. We've had a lot of ups and downs, but overall it's been a very positive year. We have a young group, so, you know, being able to get them back next year is just going to be good for us. Yay. Now we're going to go check out practice. Let's go. <laughs> So how'd it go? Well, let's just say it's not quite as easy as it looks. We may have to just leave it to the professionals out here. Back to you, Liv and David. This week we have a new segment. It's called Laughs with Laramore. You get an opportunity, one chance, to make Mr. Laramore laugh. It was Garrett Beamer's turn this week, so we're going to head out and see if he was successful or not. Hey, Mr. Laramore. Why can't a farmer keep a secret on his farm? Why? Because the corn has ears, the potatoes have eyes, and the beans have stalks. Okay. All right. Okay, another week. No Dean on the weather, but... It's, it's cooling down. Day. Fall weather coming. I like that personally. Let's go check it out. It's finally back. Teachers in the Bleachers is back. This week, Mr. Allen and Mr. Malt went around asking teachers if they know what acronyms mean to see if they know what students are really talking about in the hallways. Let's see how hip the teachers are. Hey, aren't you guys in Teachers in Bleachers? Kids need us. By golly, you're right. <laughs> 
since we're back for year two, we got to come up with some new material. Yeah, but these kids are just speaking a different language to us teachers. I feel like some teachers don't even know what they're saying. It's like they're using made up acronyms or something. I think we could probably develop some acronyms to inform these teachers yeah. what they should be knowing. You're right. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, I'm here with Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller, we got some common acronyms that students like to use. Can you identify this one? Uh, if you know, you know. That is correct. Correct, <laughs> Mr. Miller. I got another one for you. Would you be able to identify this acronym? I have absolutely no idea. Let's let's ask a student. Shum, would you have any idea what this acronym means? Um, that one means when I grow up, I want to be Alan and Malt. Oh, correct. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're here with Mr. Kalamar. Mr. Kalamar, we've got some common acronyms that the kids like to use. Can you tell us what they are? For the kids. FTK, for the kids. <laughs> Miss Fields. That's impressive, Mr. Kalmar. You didn't even have to uh, read that or think about it too long. Well, you know, I, I some acronyms I have. You know, you know, you know, you <laughs> know. <laughs> That's true. If you know, you know. Uh, next acronym. Take a look at this bad boy. Very common. A lot of kids say it around the school. Most of the kids do say it. Uh, any any thoughts? Let's see if we can find a around here. Hey, what about what about Bryce Dotson? Yeah, Dotson. Dotson. I'm sure you've seen this one before. Would you happen to know what this acronym means? Oh yeah, Mr. Moult and Mr. Allen are the best teachers ever. Huh. I appreciate that, Dotson. You know that means that a lot. Was? What? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm here with Mrs. Whitaker. Ms. Whitaker, we have some common acronyms that students like to use here at the school. Can you identify this one? Um, Bay. And like uh which like means? your boyfriend, your bae. <laughs> bae bae. Means before anyone else. I think you're thinking of a song a little bit before most of our kids' time. Oh, uh, stop it. <laughs> Mrs. Whitaker, this is a little bit easier of a one. Can you tell us what that means? A A M M M D B. Uh no, that that's not a thing. Uh, yeah, a lot of students like use a lot of students use that in this school, I believe. I wonder if anyone around here possibly knows. Oh, Maddox. <laughs> Maddox, would you possibly know what this acronym means? Hey, Alan and Malt make my day better. What? I appreciate one more time. She didn't hear. I appreciate it. that. Alan and Malt make my day better. Oh my gosh, that's I appreciate ridiculous. that, man. Yeah. A lot of students say that. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell these teachers aren't up with the times. Yeah, what a bunch of squares. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs> Before we end the episode, we want to say thank you to Miss Morris and the Student Council for buying us these mics to try to help make the podcast better this year. Thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. Also, I uh, hope you guys enjoy watching. Thank you for watching. And we want to wish the football team good luck against Bath tonight. Beat Bath. Go dogs. Got your pass? Yeah. How dare you? Is this really how we behave in the hallways at the Elida High School? No.